Right, yeah. First, let's have a look at what we've got. Right, oh, Mike's key. So, tell you off. Hopefully, Mike, you're watching. So, let's start it. As you can see, this blank's back to front. This is the nose of the blank, and that's the tail. Um, if I had it the other way around and try to put the template in, the other way, it, it wouldn't fit because the tail's so wide on the feet and the nose is so narrow. Just because some people don't realise you can flip a blank. Now, it's a dead flat deck rocker, but even though, even though it's dead flat, the blank still wants to curve up. It forces against it. So, thanks, Steve. Um, as you can see. The blank just naturally wants to pull up, so I've got to make this dead flat. It's pretty flat in the middle, and just a little bit in the nose. So what I'm going to do first is make sure the deck is flat. Right. Uh, but better empty my bag. I'm in first. So that's where all the foam gets sucked up, so I'll just get rid of that for a second. Typical, now I need a plastic bag for it to go in. And this is the wonderful thing about I think I should tell you working live. Unlike totally produced television, I have everything ready. I didn't, I had to empty my bag, so. Might be a minute. Just one of those lovely detours we have. Right, get rid of this. And that can go off to the way something. There we go. Now I've got an empty bag. On my extraction system. That goes in here. Right, now I can start. Put my mask on. Oh. 
Bora. Meu.
plane all this up completely then the outline but because the pig has a 50-50 rail roll and I plane it in I'm going to outline it now it's not how I normally do it just a little different so let me have a look 10 foot I be and John found each other against all odds. The Lord knows that not everything can be a diamond in the rock. So he's stacking the deck with pots and creeks. I think I need to strip all the down. Uh-huh. 
absolutely everything. One challenge is matching their budget. Now, let me see. <coughs> because this is such a tight fit, I'm just checking how far up the nodes I can cut it. Flat rocker. Now I have one. Check the string is straight. Should be. Perfect. Always perfect when you're using surf planks. Uh, 
Maharaj. They say how close. See how close I'm coming to the edge of the blank here. Very tight here. But as you can see, it's a perfect fit all the way around here. Right. And you see, see how close right here I'm that much. But because the foam is so hard, there is no soft rail. I can use up to three mil from the edge. It's very hard because it's orange foam. Couldn't do this of a normal foam, normal way. This is why they don't do them. This is why they don't do boards like this on computers because they have to use a really big, big blank, and that's why they end up soft and real shitty because this is to the to the millimeter or to the sixteen. But as you can see here, what I'm talking about, it's so close. But it's all good. It's a certain blank, so it's very strong.
might not be out long.
Now, as you can see here, the rail has all sorts of different things, so I'm just going to clean that up a little bit before I do the rest of the rail because we're cutting out of the blank a way that we're not probably meant to, to a point. Um, let's clean this up a bit.
But this isn't shaping the rail, that's just cleaning the, fl the flank up so I can begin to shape the rail. Right, let's have a look. <coughs> Now, trusty pencil. Just getting a clean line. Right, so I'm going to go by that line. That's something you just don't get off computers anyway.
reason I use the sander for these ones is it just ends up so much quicker. It's nearly finished. So um, you can use the surf form and all those other tools, but if you've got to do five of them in a day or something, you couldn't do it otherwise. Even though I'll take it a bit longer than I normally do.
Hey, lady, you've been watching it all? Yeah. Yeah. So, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch that thing. Let's do it on your phones. Yeah, well, I'm so excited. Looks like a lot of other people tuned in too. Yeah, yeah. I just, um, um, I'm just, I've still got to finish off the rails. I'm, I've just got it just about all done. But um, the the deck is just fucking dead flat perfect. The I just took a bit longer. I took took a bit longer get, getting the foil done and everything and. Um, it's just, it's just coming together perfectly. I'm just about to finish off the last bit of the rail. So. I got the Like, you know how sometimes you do do one and you sort of go, yeah, it's, it's, it's you know, but this one, um, it's, yeah, I'm so stoked. Anyway, I'll finish it off and then uh, you, you, I've still got about another 15 minutes, but you go and watch it when you get a chance and then let me know what you think. Okay, mate. See you, mate. Bye, mate. Bye. Bye.
Yes. Nice, thick, rail. Like the 50s now, it's had that really poor rail. So it's obviously a lot thinner here and a lot thinner there. And I'll have a look down it. And as you can see along the top of the rail, just really straight. Still got curved, but really straight. So the check inside. Yep. where we just look at it a little bit to make sure it's just Taking a little bit longer. Exactly what I want. Yeah. That's it. Beautiful. Right on. Now I know I haven't gauzed it yet. I probably don't need to because of the glass job we're going to do on it. But I'll just give it a quick gauze just so. Anyone watching won't think I'm rough, but you don't play around the doors too much on the rail, but it's changing the shape. Get them pretty close to the brush paper. Good. Get a door. I don't really need to. But Some That's how you do three. I know some people go backwards and forwards, but I don't know why. That's it. I set for the nose one time a little bit. Sometimes these little tweaks take a couple of seconds. A little bit might catch, there you go, catch the eye and Right, so there we have it. One little piggy. And um, that there, you can really see the flatness of the curve, but 
The shadow is nice and clean as it goes round. I'll just move it so you can see the, the rail line. Oh, it's heavy. Yeah, so. That's it. I think we'll lock it in Eddie, as they say. I'm happy with that. Just have a final look. Right up. Uh, done. Okay, hope you enjoyed, boy. And uh, I'll start glassing it this week and and um, can't wait to see you get it and and have it at the luau. So, okay, everyone, see you.